Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Mission Fleet product. This is the Bad Batch Minus Tech. So pretty cool. It is an all figure pack, as you can tell. I personally believe that they should have excluded crosshairs, given him his own vehicle and buy him separately and add him tech. Instead, we actually have to buy tech separately on his own ATST looking, not ATST, but like ATRT looking thing. Um, and then it shows the other ones from the wave in little picture form, which is pretty cool. Again, a series meant for children, but it's just really, really well made. So here we are with another one. Uh, this set costs $20 and you get four figures, which I think is pretty fair. Um, I do like with the figure packs that you don't get any weird vehicles, like any small rinky dink vehicles. I do like the big ones, uh, like the TIE Fighters and stuff, but uh, the speeders are fine as well. Uh, but yeah, I like that we just get characters in this one. I also really like the skull in the back because that's their like logo. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this guy up and uh, we'll take a closer look at all of the characters inside. Starting off here, we have Wrecker with his super cool helmet. The print looks slightly off now that I see it kind of in the viewfinder here, um, but nonetheless, very cool. Again, very small. He has a relatively thick blaster and he comes with a, a knife that can be sheathed in his uh, shin sheath. Uh, pretty cool. He also has a little backpack and I think they all should be removable. Um, as you can tell, it comes with a really thick peg. That's like the hole of their back, uh, the depth that is. Uh, and then you can all have them wear their backpacks, so it looks pretty good. Um, so there is Wrecker. He is not particularly larger than the rest. He is just a little bit taller. Like if you compare him to Hunter here, which I'll show you. Maybe, maybe a hair taller, uh, but nothing super crazy. We have Hunter here, and he looks good. Uh, helmet looks pretty decent. The paint apps on the body look nice. He comes with a knife. He also has a backpack. And it looks like he has a sheath for his knife on the back side of his arm. And I really think that's super cool. You don't often see sheaths on the back of arms. That's actually really neat. I like that effect. Uh, so, yep, these all have helmets that are not removable, but um, that's okay. I think they look pretty dang good with them on. Not bad at all. Then we have Crosshair here, and he doesn't really want to focus. This is Imperial Crosshair, so he's all black with a blue visor or green visor. That reminds me of a Death Trooper or a Dark Trooper. Death Trooper. Death Trooper. Um, looking nice. He has a sniper rifle and then his backpack can hold his sniper rifle similar to what we see with the Black Series if it wants to focus. Maybe not. Yeah, just like that. Pretty cool. He looks nice. Again though, I think he would have been better served in his own vehicle so that people could pick him up separately because he's not a good member of the Bad Batch so you'd kind of want to have tech personally. But they probably did that so that you would like go buy tech. Um, and then we have Echo. And he looks cool. He comes with a little blaster pistol here. Sorry, we're struggling. Little blaster pistol here and then quite a large little arm. Uh, you can detach it though and just have his little socket uh, hand there, which I will probably display him with because this arm is just a little bit too big. Now it does, it fits and it holds everything well. Uh, it's just really large. So I'm not a huge fan of it. I like that they just come with accessories. I think that's fun. He also does come with a backpack. They all have different backpacks and you can swap them out if you so prefer, but uh, I think they look really nice and you get four of them. So that's pretty cool. Other than that, that's it. They don't really have any play features. It's just for, you know, like interactive play. You know, you take one character and you would have them talk or shoot each other. So there's that. But anyways, I think this is still really cool for $20. It's not too bad because you do get four figures uh, for the adults that are collecting this line. We're collecting for the figures and then the actual uh, life size to the figure vehicle, not the little rinky dink vehicles that come with the single packs. So I am more than happy with what we are given. And um, yay, yay on Hasbro for Mission Fleet. I think they're awesome. I really do. And I, I like get them and I can't wait to add them to my shelf. So here we are. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you, as always, for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys later.